Oh, hello, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Um, every time when I want to kind of um, take a step back, I'm sort of, well, forced more or less to uh, come out again because uh, even though my health is absolutely terrible, uh, what matters more than anything uh, is actually the truth. So I just want to uh, share this. Uh, I was going to make it anyway, but this is kind of a, uh, a response to Brian Rose, who put out a, a very good video. And I'll leave the uh, link uh, in the description box below. So um, yeah, hopefully uh, he'll see it. So um, I woke up this morning to this. Um, so yesterday I uh, posted the uh, the infamous um, uh, video with the uh, interview with um, Dr. Judy Mikovits, which has gone absolutely viral, and of course it's been removed from every platform. And of course uh, they're a little bit behind YouTube, but uh, Vimeo have joined. Um, in the uh, in this in, in the whole thing, um, uh, and it's not it's not the first time I've had problems. I, I used to put a lot of stuff on Vimeo a few years ago, and I woke up one day and every video I don't know how many about fifty videos maybe uh, had all disappeared and. Um, I don't know whether I was hacked or whether it was the uh, uh, the people at Vimeo that did, did it because I never got a, a message like this, uh, but now I have. So I'm not sorry that I've been uh, kind of, you know, we're all in this together. So um, I don't know, let's just go to, okay. So uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't resist sending them a uh, a response. I said, uh, "Oh, my God. it's not to Margot, by the way." Uh, I wouldn't dream of trying to persuade people whose minds are made up to reconsider. Rather, I would just point out that all the videos that I have posted, especially the last one, was Dr. Mikovic, are all factual and well thought out. Once upon a time, we lived in a society where ideas could be bounced around freely, and we criticize societies such as the USSR and China where this is not possible. Uh, your actions have shown that we're in exactly the same place these totalitarian uh, societies were, or in the case of China, are. I wouldn't want now want your services, even though I've paid for them. Your actions are beyond contempt, and I hope you feel ashamed of yourselves. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's written more for my own benefit than theirs. Um, so I just want to uh, read a little bit from this article that appeared in the uh, Yoth Guardian because it just reflected brilliantly kind of where I think we're at. So reading op-eds these days about the grim progress of COVID-19 through the United States, I sometimes have to, the eerie feeling that have traveled backwards in time and landed in some sort of Cold War-like hyperconformist dystopia, but with one disquieting difference. As in those dark days, we're bombarded with uh, warnings of a ruthless, insidious enemy that will destroy us if unchecked. As in those days, we are assured that the battle to suppress this mortal enemy requires unquestioning faith in government authorities and the suspension of ordinary liberties. As in those days, dissenters are vilified. People who challenge the suppression of civil rights are mocked as dupes, fellow travellers, or outright accomplices of the evil one. Only at this time, the roles are strangely reversed. Instead of red-baiting conservatives, it's so-called liberals who are wearing the executioner's hood and carrying a shredder for the, uh, the civil rights. Um, instead of jingoists shouting down dissenters, we've got erstwhile defenders of free speech. Um, 
something or other, political critics that they ought to either shut up or drop dead. Uh, as in the present day dystopia, the enemies of society are not just people with the wrong ideas as they, as they were in the old days, even taking a walk in the park can prompt well-meaning liberals to denounce you to the authorities as a public menace. That is today's political reality in a nutshell, and I'm afraid the situation is much worse than merely ironic. I think it represents a colossal era by which civil libertarians and their normal political allies are abandoning their most valued principles at a precisely the moment when they're most urgently needed. Just as state repression of working people offers us the chance to unify much of the political spectrum around liberal ideas, left of centre pundits are simultaneously turning their backs on struggling workers and on civil rights. Absolutely. And I just want to finish off with this. Um, for several years, I've followed uh, Jake Morphonius, uh, uh, of, uh, he calls himself Blackstone Intelligence these days, and he had a lot of good stuff. If you could kind of go, if you had the time and energy to go through a, a kind of two or three hour monologue. Uh, and he was always quite sort of pro-Trump. He's done a an about face, um, which, I, which I don't mind, uh, but he's done it. Uh, in what seems to me to be a very dishonest way. And he's shown his face here in this. I mean, you know, I'd never touch this man with a bloody 20 foot barge pole uh, ever again. Years ago, Judy Mikovits botched a major study. Her research was universally discredited by scores of other scientists. She became angry and was later fired for insult insubordination. Then she was arrested for having someone steal materials from the old lab for her disgruntled employee. Well, what a load of fucking bollocks. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that is my uh, thoughts for the day. Let's just hope this gets through the censor. <laughs>